give up my really first speak a little bit. And I have to uh, probably first of all congratulate you and India about your uh, exploration to the moon. <laughs> India and we are very happy uh, that uh, our Chandrayaan could land on the south pole of moon and as you have rightly said Honorable Prime Minister said that it is not for India but for world so I think uh, we always have this one world policy and uh, Japan and India uh, share a lot of cultural values so we always think globally and I think uh, that is what is uh, what brings two countries together. Uh, at this juncture, I must thank uh, the government of Japan, and especially JICA, for uh, executing, uh, for helping us executing the best and the iconic projects uh, in the state of Maharashtra. And uh, although uh, you know the progress, but still I would like to tell you that the underground metro uh, is progressing very well. Uh, the car depot mm -hmm. is now around 60% uh, built and hopefully uh, by end of this year uh, we will be able to start uh, the metro from Bandra, Bandra to uh, Seeps and the second portion also hopefully uh, next year in first half maybe June or July we will be able to start so this metro as you know will be the biggest artery to uh, to Mumbai. It will be the main line for Mumbai and it will decongest Mumbai like anything. So we are really thankful to you uh, for this underground metro and perhaps I think it is one of the longest metro single stretch ever built in Asia, so 40 kilometers. And that is just because of uh, uh, your guidance that we could do it. I would also uh, like to thank you for Trans Harbor Link because I think uh, Trans Harbor Link is linking Mumbai to New Mumbai, mm -hmm. the island city to hinterland. Mm -hmm. And with this one bridge, the third Mumbai will come. Third Mumbai will be, will be built. Mm -hmm. And that will be a future ready city. That will be one of the uh, you know, uh, most uh, vibrant and iconic city 
which uh, will be built due to this road and uh, I'm sure that uh, by end of this year we will be able to start the road. Uh, you have personally seen the road and I yes. think uh, it, it has come beautifully and I think the, the Indian companies and Japanese companies together have done wonderful uh, job there so I'm very happy about that. Having said that, now we have also started two more projects. Uh, uh, one is, uh, uh, you know, Mula Mutha River Rejuvenation Project in Pune, and also Nag River Rejuvenation Project in Nagpur, which are supported by JICA, and I'm sure that they are also transformational projects. Again, uh, the uh, Bullet Train Project, which is also, I think, uh, a very transformational project. So uh, there were certain hurdles in the Maharashtra side, but now uh, we have worked on it and all the hurdles are over. And uh, all these projects, we have put them in our war room so that, uh, you know, we monitor them regularly. And uh, I'm sure with uh, uh, whatever help we have got from you, uh, we'll complete all these projects within time. And there is a real transformation which can be seen uh, after these projects. Uh, having said that, uh, uh, I must also spell uh, our agenda for today and uh, as you know that Mumbai has most of its traffic on the uh, western part and uh, around 60% of the Mumbai vehicular movement is on, on, on the western expressway and to decongest this western expressway now what we have planned is uh, you know, there is one coastal highway which we are building. The uh, Burli Bandra Sea Link is also already built. Bandra Varsova Sea Link is under construction. Now, we want to build a Varsova Virar Sea Link, which is a 42 kilometer sea link. And uh, it is in two portions. One is uh, 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 from uh, Varsova to uh, uh, Uttar. Uttar. And the second is from Uttam to Virat. And this will be a very game changer project because the entire western coast in the Mumbai metropolitan region will be decongested. We have Metropolitan Commissioner with us who has uh, actually planned it, uh, Dr. Mukherjee. And I think uh, uh, this has been in a very active dialogue. And I am happy to share that uh, our Niti Aayog has cleared it and our Ministry of Road Transport has cleared it. And now uh, the Ministry of Economic Affairs is into last lag of clearing it. Uh, um, uh, I had a verbal discussion with them and they are uh, very happy to clear it. Uh, although they feel that it can be done in two phases. The first phase should be from uh, Warsaw to Virar and the second phase should be from Warsaw to Uttar and the second phase should be Uttar to Virar. So hopefully very soon uh, they will also clear it. Uh, one more project I would just like to bring to your knowledge is about uh, uh, Mumbai Flood Management Project, which uh, uh, you know we discussed last time also, and then uh, uh, it's a it's a project where we would like to create uh, water storages below Mumbai, uh, so that uh, Mumbai being a, a coastal city, when there are torrential rains and when there are uh, high tide, uh, then the water cannot flow out and the entire Mumbai gets flooded. Although uh, we have initiated pumping stations, we are trying that. But I think uh, the best way to do it is like what is done in most of the international cities, including Tokyo, where uh, a lot of water cons conservation is done and uh, then that water is used or otherwise it is uh, 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 flown to the sea. So I think that is also one of the projects where uh, the MEA has has given it approval. So I think uh, 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 our agenda for today is to, to uh, request you to please look into this project and uh, I'm sure that uh, with your intervention and uh, with your help, we can really transform uh, Mumbai into world-class city. It has become, it has transformed into world-class city, but we have to take it one step further. And I'm sure that uh, 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 I think whenever the Mumbai growth story and development story will be told. That story will be complete only with the help of Japan and JICA. Thank you. Thank you.
very much if, if teaching me stuff, uh, you know, Mr. Padronalis. Uh, in fact, I visited Mumbai uh, last October, and it was my first trip during these 30 years. I mean, I was.